welcome back to another episode here on uh, Satisfactory. It's been some time since I entered the game, so um, excuse me for that. I was uh, very busy. Uh, mostly because from this uh, few episodes, uh, to two episodes back I think, um, will be the new uh, Bitcube's homestyle intro and outro, so big thing to note. Our factory has been running over here. That's crazy. Look, we have the concrete over here that goes up. And if we just take the stairs over here, we can get even more information about how much we are producing. See, it's running over the line. And if I open this, we have 33 already in storage because those we do not need to check because they are empty until the, this one is full. So it will stack up, basically. Well, why am I? <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the game. Um, we were working on different stuff. In this case, uh, let me check if we can make a new milestone for us or if we are gonna continue the project. We have the personal storage, which is something we can do. But we can also make a factory for copper. We can also do that. And there are different other stuff that we can research later on. But I always make my way from tier 1, then to tier 2, and so on. Let me first see if we can research another thing. Oh, hey, the yellow power slug has been researched. Uh, we can research Caterium more. Sorry about that. Um, well, I think we have barely enough, but we can research it. There we go. Leave that to research. Good. Next thing. Let me clean up my inventory by completing whatever I have in my inventory. Let's make an iron factory. Let's make sure that if we want some iron stuff, that we can make the iron stuff in that factory. I was thinking about making a separate building for every item type, basically, and then connect them with between them with the um, with the conveyors, basically. So let me get on this uh, big boulder over here. We have a lot of grass that we can cover and yeah, well, I was thinking about making some um, foundations already to see if we can fix everything in. Um, I do want to mention that I'm a builder that always likes to build roads in my game. Uh, this means basically that whenever I see an area with opportunity I make a road on it so that yeah well my cars can drive on it instead of on the bare land uh, as you can see here possibly um, you see a lot of flowers that we can pick up I will not do that at this moment I will take the saw later on um, that can do those things way quicker I will show you the saw um, the chainsaw or whatever you want to call it uh, soon enough when it, the, the, the time is there um, the saw is in the next tier by the way in this uh, this one um, it's a chainsaw okay I have already select uh, the milestone but I need some more concrete so let's just get that right away so we can make sure that we can continue building our foundations for the uh, either copper or iron factory one of the two um, and then we need combination factories that combine multiple outputs of a certain type of material. I was thinking on making the bottom floor always the producing area and then the floor above the storage area. So that we can make sure that... Let me just jump in the hole here. Okay. So that we can always make sure that we have enough stuff around. So as you can see here, the foundation is a bit low. So I think I'm gonna replace it with the uh, mid-tier, the high-tier uh, foundations. The high-tier foundations are a little bit bigger and higher up. 
Those were also in use with the other projects. I always use the um, the high ones normally. See, the high ones are four meters up, while the small ones are uh, two meters up. Let me see. I want this to be a road for my car to drive on. So, and a road that I always build is always two uh, foundations wide. But a great thing in this game is that always when you remove something, you get back what you put in. So I do not have anything to complain about that. I just put six in and I get six back when I remove it. So now we have some foundation and I want to cut off this line. This is the uh, line for the road and for the building itself. Um, the best way to do that is just simply make the walls for it. That one is a building made of uh, iron, basically the uh, the iron uh, foundation walls. But this one is a nice thing for some factories. Um, and for the loading and uh, retrieval base, I will make a separate building where the cars can drive to. And uh, they will empty their uh, contents into the system. It's not going as fast as I expected for the concrete in this case, but we can solve that with upgrades that we can make for the factories. Um, but yeah, well, the point is that we do not have upgrades on stock, I believe. I can check that, but I'm pretty sure that we do not have those in stock. Let's check our storage bin, and no, we do not have that. So. Well, shortly speaking, we need to get some slugs later on um, to continue working on uh, things. Well, uh, I need to craft a lot of stuff at the moment as well. So let me just uh, start crafting some uh, iron plates because we need a lot of them. And um, well, we have some rods still, so I'm not worrying about anything like that. However, I can... Turn this thing on again. There we go. That will make 50 plates if I uh, do not refill it in the meantime. Can be very handy if you need something really quickly. So, because we need a lot of iron, uh, my feeling is that we can better make the iron uh, building over here where we are building our building. Okay, that sounded weird. Um, this will be the iron factory. Where we put iron in. Well, I think I leave the smelters there and make a tree smelters. And then make a line that goes into this building. And then use this uh, bottom floor here to produce the plates uh, and the rods. I think that's a nice thing to do. Um, most important, we need walls. I will make the inner walls, these iron walls. And the outer walls make uh, the orange one. I think that's a nice thing to do. And if you think, why did he skip that one? I want to make a door there, but we do not have concrete again. So let's uh, head over to the concrete plant where you can see that we are still making concrete. It's going pretty fast, if you say so. Can I get underneath this? No, I can't. It's going. And it uh, can put out everything in mind. So that's, that's a good thing. Clipping the corner. <laughs> I always try to avoid clipping uh, of uh, belts and such because I have a little bit the feeling that the um, the updates will ruin any building that has clipping. So I have no idea if that's gonna happen. I have no confirmation on that, but I can say that if it's if it's happening, that I'm prepared for it. Some small, um, some small things. I don't care if that yeah, will get ruined. But if my whole base based on clipping, then no, sorry. <laughs> I try to avoid that. Let me put in what I already have because I'm waiting for the concrete to happen. I can betterly continue on and uh, fix the updates for everything. 
Well, the good thing is that wires are very cheap to make. You get a lot of wire for the same uh, ingot, so uh, it goes away faster than the other ones. Oh, completed. Now the wire. This is way faster than before, isn't it? When we started, it's way, it was way slower that we uh, were building. There we go, launch the pod. Milestone. There he goes. Additional storage options have been provided. R and There we go. And now let's see. The next things we can do are those two. Those do not require our ship to be sent out again. That's a good thing. Um, and then we can start on this part. But I think that the obst obstacle uh, clearing, the most important one is. So, yeah. Do I have anything with me that I can use? No, I haven't. Hmm. Well, we can take a walk. So let's just take a walk and see if we can find some nice friends to fight with. See if we find some slugs. I can see a slug over there, but it's covered in gas. If I can come too close, I will uh, suffocate. So I want to prevent that, if possible. Um, we have limestone and if I find some pure limestone vines I will cut them up because we definitely need limestone Because this is the beginners area there are a lot more resources around but they are all different uh, classifications um, We also have the mid tier uh, I possibly explained it before but the mid tier area always contains pure mostly But has a very wide spread it out uh, ore vines so you get more from a single vine, but if you need more than one vine, then, well, it's uh, a little bit working. <laughs> uh, getting some leaves as well. You can never have too much. Let me see. I see a slug. Can you guys see it already? I hope so. Hey, what do we have here? A Mercer Sphere. Unguarded. Thank you. An unguarded mercy sphere. At least I thought it was unguarded, but I can hear them now uh, screaming that why did you take it? Yeah, well, that's not something I wanted to do. I just do not want to steal, but it's mine. So if you stand still close enough to these things, they do say harvest. So. Why wouldn't I harvest it? And then they say that I'm clear to do, so why not? I slug. Okay, and there is a... Not a Mercer Stone or something, whatever you want to call it over there. So let's uh, try to get that as well. There we go. Climbing up and up and up. Hey, a lot of wood. There we go. Now can I climb this? Yes, I can climb this. Sower Sloop, that was the name. Same uh, sounds as the Mercer Sphere. Very nice. Can I just climb down and just pick the wood on the way down? Wood is worth uh, a lot of biomass and that's pretty much important to have. There we have the copper vine. If you have, ow! If we ever need it. Hey guys, be a bit nicer. Tell your brother to be nice against me. I do not like people that are attacking me. Hi, hey, calm down. See what you get from it. Goodbye. Good. Um, I noticed from my last game that there was a coal vine over there. And there are some slugs on this building as well. We cannot reach it uh, until I either make a conveyor belt over here or the foundations. Uh, on my last game I made a bridge from with foundations to the other side. It's uh, nice. To, hey, there's a slug over there. 
it's not very hard to do a foundation, although I do recommend people to think before they do. There are spiders over there. You see them? For someone who is hating spiders, not me, but if any watcher is hating spiders, be warned, the cave that I'm just about to enter contains a lot of spiders. Possibly because I already killed two and I hear more, so... Yeah, well, to be short... Yeah. Whoa, big find. Thank you. Good. I hear them, I can't see them. Ow. See, I meant that there are a lot of spiders here. And that spider is annoying the heck out of me. Another one. And I'm about to die if I cannot kill it. Anyone else? Let me see. 89 of those. Eat those. That's better. The slug we search for. There we go. Now what? Oh, there's another mineral over here. Boxite. The same thing for the next update is the game, if I am correct. It makes aluminium. Aluminium, or whatever you gonna call it in that language. Um, well, yeah. It's aluminium. It's needed for the next update. I have no idea. On what is in that update. Um, whatever, I do know that there were two new tiers in that update, which is coming out end of this month. Um, when I'm recording, I'm recording in April. Um, as soon as the update is out, I of course continue on recording with the new update running above. Um, me and my friends already have some uh, base running on a separate game. So we can uh, continue on uh, in that game to see if we can uh, make it and see how the tier works before I ever record it here. I hear glint rings. Let's first get uh, to the second cave and uh, get through the second cave and if we are through then uh, I will end up the episode. This is a big cave. The roots of things are seeping through. Hello, anyone home? Well, I cannot get past that. Those are gas uh, vines. Well, in that case, I'm um, gonna end up the episode right here. Um, next episode, we continue our search for more slugs and we will return to the base to get the concrete that it has produced in the meantime, as well as finishing the foundations for the iron factory and maybe making the iron factory a little bit more. I will see y'all in the next one. Good luck!